Why would you tell people about this? Wouldn't you prefer to keep this manifesto a secret? Firstly, if you go to the website, there is a manifesto on the website and when you click to read it, it takes you to the 2021 manifesto. So I'm going to assume that's the latest one and we'll go through that. So firstly, you are the third highest funded party in the country and all you could come up with was a 20 page manifesto. So let's talk about this line, customer centric. But before I do that, who told you this was a good idea? Who in the PR or marketing department told you like, hey, let's get a shot of you in some overalls pretending to be clean. This is the cleanest overalls I've ever seen. These overalls couldn't be cleaner if they were still on the shelf. Apart from the fact that this entire document is bullet points, the first problem I have is that you use the term customer centric. A country is not a business and a government doesn't have customers, they have citizens. And so the focus is on providing the basic needs and infrastructure to those citizens. So you can't have a customer centric approach if you are the state. I suppose this appeals to the kind of people you are funding or the kind of people who you want to vote for you, but that's not the majority of South Africa. And this continues throughout the document, business friendly municipalities. What does that mean? And I keep saying this, I'll reiterate this again. We are the most unequal country on the planet. How much more business friendly can we be? Our private sector is able to completely decimate and exploit our labor force. How much more business friendly do you want this place to be? We have one first prize, most unequal on the planet. What are you aiming for? And the reason I refer to this party as the DA light is because the DA has the same shit in their manifesto where they want to make things easier for business and for investment. And what you really want to say is we're going to get to cl as close to slavery as possible. So please read the rest of the document. It's not very long. It's only 20 pages. And in this 20 pages, there's nothing about land reform, nothing about redress, nothing about wealth inequality, but they'll make some time to speak about public lighting. Now, I'm not saying this is not important, but on the list of priorities, or is it that you're acknowledging? I know that there's a lot of reasons some of your communities aren't safe, but let's look at the lighting. Ah, before I forget, another reason DA light, police presence. Because we're not going to invest in making things safer and give you more resources, but we will police you. You should have really just left this alone.